What's up? It's your boy Brian Ash, aka the Handsome Fister. How you guys doing today? So it's the new me video. It's Friday. The series new me. Yes. I told you I wouldn't forget. It's dark though. Look. Lights on. Lights on. It's dark. So it's late, but it is what it is. So week two. Um I've only had like three or four caffeinated beverages the whole time, which is good for me because usually it's like six in a day. So I'm winning, still winning. Uh, I feel better. Um, I'm, I, people say that I'm, I'm looking thinner, but that's not the goal of this. That's not the goal of the new me. The goal of the new me is just to um, be a better version of me. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and it was my birthday week, so shockingly enough, didn't quit on the birthday, didn't, you know, give up on the birthday weekend. I was really good, or the birthday week. I was really good, no Red Bulls, no Mountain Dews until today. And, uh, you know, just overall good time. So, <clears throat> um, somebody had commented on one of my videos talking about, um, or wait, they sent me a private message about my uh, addiction that I fought with. Now, it was, uh, it probably lasted six to eight months, maybe a year. And it was Vicodin um, because those back then, they were easy to come by. So I uh, was getting them and, and I was getting them really, really cheap. And, and so I was taking them, I was getting rid of some too, you know, to, it was a balance act at the time. So I could, uh, you know, basically take them for free. And uh, then it got to a point when I was in Boston, Massachusetts with my buddy Jay Wells to where um, I couldn't control it anymore. And so he noticed it and then he quickly took action and weaned me off of them now granted i still took them for years after that and you know but it never became a problem to where i couldn't control it anymore but for like eight months to a year i couldn't like i had to have them to wake up i had to have them to get through my day and so that was a real dark period of time for me and uh so that was that that was that and I was like it was right after like my first divorce and it took me I mean the first divorce really hurt my feelings a lot but um because like I was young I was like 23 years old and I didn't expect it to you know I didn't expect at 23 to be divorced right I kept thinking to myself what's wrong with me what's wrong with me but the, the situation wasn't right too young too immature we did we both made a lot of mistakes um i was an asshole so that's that i mean you know granted there's a lot of things that happen both ways but um it's way in the past and it's over but that's what um i couldn't handle after that so that was that masked my brain and, and kept me focused and kept me working and kept me driving so that was how that went Boom. So new me, a lot of a lot of things changed in my life. Recently, uh, I'm going through another divorce. <laughs> Shockingly enough, uh, 13 years later, uh, it is what it is, right? So I'll get I'll get to more of that um, when uh, when things are more final and things are more stable in the in that situation <clears throat> but there's been a lot of hate coming from it and i and i never was a hateful person not spiteful i'm not doing anything to hurt anybody purposely and i'm not um i'm not what they say i am so with that being said i don't know what to say like i'll address that i mean like I said in my video on, I think it was Tuesday, there's three sides to every story, my side, her side, and then in the middle is the truth. But I don't, I mean, it's not even worth it anymore. It's like, it's over, it's done. Like, why are we rehashing it? Like, it's, uh, 
we're a couple signatures away from it being done and going in front of an attorney and, or in front of a judge and it, it being over. So I don't know what the big deal is, right? Like, I'm happy now. Like, why can't people just be happy that I'm happy and I'm taking care of my family? That's it. So anyway, new me, living the dream. I don't want you guys to, uh, I don't want this to be too long and because it's late and I know a lot of you guys will watch it just because it's your boy, the handsome fister. But that's it, guys. New me, episode three in the books, baby. Like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe to it. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I broke it down a bit. Now, granted, the last few videos, I got to get on the computer and move them to the um, folders or, you know, subs that they belong to so anyway it's your boy brian ash aka the hands of fish and i'll talk to y'all tomorrow peace